today is a kettlebell workout. It's meant to be an interval style workout. So 35 seconds of rest. Nope, 35 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So during the 35 seconds, you'll go as hard as you can um, within reason. So, you know, make sure that your form is good, uh, even though you're going a little bit quicker to get your heart rate up. The 10 seconds, you'll rest during that. So it's 10 moves. Three of the moves are single-sided, so that adds a little bit to it. If you do all four sets, you'll have a 39-minute workout minus your warm-up and cool-down. If you do just one set, obviously you'll have less than that. So I'm going to go through one set with you, and then if you want to keep going, you can add in another set or two more or three more and get the full workout. You can even do five sets. It's totally up to you. Um, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. You'll just have to switch your grip up a little bit. And then I have a step also, um, and that's because I have decline push-ups as one of the moves. If you don't have access to a step, like a staircase, your bottom step, or any sort of coffee table or couch or riser or anything, you can just do normal push-ups. You don't need to have a step for that. So I have my timer set up in a two-minute warm-up and then get right into it. Our first move is a halo squat. So be ready, you'll grab your kettlebell like this or your dumbbell by the ends. Feet are gonna be hip width apart. You'll go all the way around your head and then squat down and alternate your directions. If you're a lady and you have uh, your hair on top of your head like I usually do, you're gonna have to take it down, otherwise you'll whack your head, your hair as you're going around. So let's get started. I have a two minute warm up. Just kind of get things going. Start with high knee march. Get your blood flowing. Make sure you take deep breaths. And from here, you can start to jog it out. So nice and low to the ground. This side to side jogs. Kind of move your arms. Getting your heart rate to start to rise. So I'm using an app called Interval Timer, and you can set up your workout. So I just put in 35 seconds on, 10 seconds off with a two minute warm up. And you can change those ratios. You can put in as many sets as you want. So you can essentially make your workout all day if you want to do that. All right, taking in jumping jacks. Deep breaths, warm up your shoulders. To make this low impact, start here. You go out, out. Oh, you don't have any of the jumping. Make sure you're keeping your abs in nice and tight. Deep breaths. We have 30 more seconds. Let's take it into a little side to side shuffle. Warm up the lateral parts. Stepping on a Monster Jam sand pit. And we'll do one more set of jumping jacks. We have 20 seconds. This is usually where I'll tell my classes, if you have anything you want to stretch out, go ahead and do so, because we go right into the move. So again, our first move is a halo squat. I'm going to grab my ball. We have five seconds. Feet hip width apart, around the head. Squat. So you want to sit back in your heels, abs in nice and tight. The further of a circle you make down your back, the more you'll get your abs, triceps, shoulders, all that good stuff involved. All right, and rest. So we have 10 seconds of rest. Next, we're going into a figure eight lunge. So you're gonna step back, pass it under, and alternate sides. You can kind of get into a rhythm. Make sure your knee is not going over that toe too far. Nice wide step back. Good 
Good one for the glutes. All right, next we have single leg deadlift with an upright row. So put your leg back, pull onto your kettlebell, flat back, down, row it up. Deep breaths. Lead with your elbow. I like to use same leg, same arm, but you can totally go opposite. It just makes your balance a little bit trickier. We'll hit both sides. Abs in nice and tight, back flat. So we'll change sides. I have my foot up on a step. You don't have to do that. You can keep it very lightly behind you. The main goal is you don't really want any weight in it. As you deadlift, you're going to flat back, abs in. So we are going to single leg squat, leg up behind you, squat straight down and up. So work in your comfortable range of motion. If you don't feel comfortable going all the way down, just work in kind of a half range of motion, up and down until you feel a little more warmed up. So you might find that sets two, three, four, you're a little bit better warmed up. That's when you start going a little bit deeper. Shoulders away from your ears. And we'll switch sides. Deep breath. should be up at this point. That's good. Balance a little bit. All right, what's next? Bug. All right, so we have single arm overhead lunge and press. And grab your kettlebell here, come into a lunge, and you're gonna lunge and press. Make sure you're going straight down toward the floor, not moving forward. This is our last single-sided move. in the nick of time. So if you have a watch for this one, turn the face in because the kettlebell will hit right here. Let's see. This arm is a little weaker overall. If you need to drop the upper body portion, then just do the lunge. Go ahead and do that. Whew. All right. So next we have decline push up. Feet on a step if you don't have that, just do a regular push up. Here we go. And to modify this one, come off the step, 
go down as far as you can and press up. You can also work in half range of motion. So you're here, go halfway down, press up. So I'm going about three quarters till you get comfortable. Puts a little more stress on your body. So coming up, we have front raises. We're just gonna go here. You can add in a squat if you want. So like squat, front raise. You don't have to. You can keep it at just front raise. So you're going up to eye height. Abs in nice and tight. Legs soft. All right, we have three exercises left. So this one is squat and press. So hold the kettlebell by the ball. We're gonna squat, press up. As you squat, go down as far as you feel comfortable. Some people squat more, some people squat less. Make sure that you're sitting back as if you're sitting in a chair. Deep breaths. Abs tight. All right. Next up is a figure eight pass through in a squat. So legs are kind of in a sumo squat position. Toes pointed out and go in and around over, under. We have one more exercise after this. Hopefully your heart rates are up by now. Nice and warmed up. Ready to go. Remember you can do two, three, or four sets total, or five, it's up to you. Four total sets is gonna make it, oh, this one's fun, knee pull in. So four total sets is gonna make it 39 minutes. Pull in and out. Make sure you feel stable on your kettlebell. And you're just doing a jump in, abs in, nice and tight, and out. You can go as fast as you want. Just make sure you feel safe. Not like you're gonna topple over. Abs pulled in. Deep breaths, we're almost there. Whew, all right. So that was one set. You can keep going, two sets, three sets, four sets. It's up to you. Great job. Deep breath. 